So in this video, we're gonna be talking briefly about this pencil. It's called the Eberhard Faber Contact 440. This is a wooden pencil, as you could probably tell. It's from the best I could tell the 1970s, give or take. So maybe late 70s, early 80s, it's, it's really hard to say. Uh, the dating on wooden pencils is kind of inexact on all but the most popular models. So uh, this is a new wooden pencil, like new old stock. Clearly, it's quite old. And uh, the contact line was what they call now test scoring or testing pencils. And the graphite in them was designed to be picked up by a uh, kind of like an IBM scoring machine or some sort of test scoring machine where the, the lead itself could be sensed on the paper. There are other pencils like this, like the IBM Electrographic and different uh, test-taking pencils. So uh, I guess that's the, the basics of it. You could dig into this sort of history and probably pick up a lot more than I know relatively quickly. As far as the pencil itself goes, uh, see some nice features in this one. It's a black polish. It, the color is definitely black. This one is new. It's in very good condition. Currently, these are selling for about uh, maybe $30 each online. I had bought it or picked it up in a, in a bundle, just kind of landed on it randomly. And it looked interesting, so I sort of started poking around. Like I said, black polish. It said it says wood clinched, which is uh, common for uh, Eberhard Faber or Faber pencils. Just they say it on their black wings and a bunch of other ones. See USA embossed right there. These are clearly both embossed or stamped on there. Here we have the uh, Eberhard Faber logo with that EF, no uh, no arrows or anything like that, you know, like you might see. The pencil logo itself, the Contact 440, has that little dot there, it's quite cool. Clearly this is an italic, kind of like futuristic looking, particularly in the 70s or something like that, where you know, you'd want this to be like, hey, this is like a pencil that works with machines or whatever, it's quite cool. And then nothing else on here, nothing too fancy. The uh, It's a round silver polished metal ferrule with a round pink eraser. So pretty cool. This one is unsharpened, so I haven't used it yet. So I'm going to sharpen it up and do some testing. Before we get into that, uh, I will note that the Contact is one of the more desirable wooden pencils, at least from what I could tell. And again, with that retail price around $30 per pencil, they are clearly being sought after. So why? Clearly, people aren't using these to take standardized tests. They're, you know, it's not like a really desirable feature. And from what I can understand, the people are uh, searching after these because they're particularly smooth and they are a, a really nice alternative to a pencil like this. So this is an original Blackwing 602, so not a current uh, Palomino Blackwing or Cal Cedar, whatever Blackwing. This is one of the originals made either by Everhard Faber, or in this case, Faber Castell, briefly for a couple of years there. You can see it's also that wood clinched, that's the brand mark from uh, Everhard. These ones have gotten very hard to find in the original form and quite expensive. As the prices on these ramped up, people started looking for alternatives online. And one of the alternatives people found as far as vintage Eberhard Faber pencils was the Contact 440. People identified this as being a good alternative to getting a Blackwing 602 if you wanted this type of performance. So quickly, the market on the Contact went crazy. And now these have gotten harder to find or as hard to find as the original Blackwings. So uh, anyway, I'm going to sharpen this one up and give it a test and see how it does. So I've done some initial testing with that Contact 440, and uh, I could say that it definitely feels softer than the original Blackwing 602. So basically, if you're looking at pencil grades, usually you'd see it somewhere from like, say, 8B, and then that's the softest possible, to 8H, that's the hardest possible. The Contact is a higher number of Bs than the Blackwing. So maybe it's a 4B and the Blackwing's a 2B, something like that. That's not a standardized grading system, so it's different from company to company, which is why uh, it's not a particularly useful system. Plus, specialized pencils like this Contact or the Blackwing, 
didn't come in grades, right? These were kind of like purpose-made pencils. They weren't a, say, an art pencil where you'd have a line of pencils where that one family would have a 2B, a 3B, a 4B, what have you. Uh, this was just the Contact 440. So this is something unto itself similar to the Blackwing. But when you're comparing the two, the Contact feels softer and smoother, but also that means it is requires more frequent sharpening and the lead itself is more likely to break if you apply too much pressure. But if you're a smooth writer and you don't put too much pressure on it, you're getting really nice smooth lines out of the contact. You could see here, uh, at least to me, it looks a, a fair bit darker than this black wing, at least the Faber Castell black wing. And uh, it has a nice smooth feel to it. I, I really like it. For me, it's a little bit soft. So I'm going to stick with uh, the Blackwing or more likely Blackwing equivalents since those are pretty hard to find. But this is really nice so far and it is, uh, I get why people are tracking them down. It's nice and smooth, nice dark lead and fun to use. The fact that it is an electrographic pencil or something that's going to get picked up by a test doesn't seem to make any, uh, any difference day to day for me. So uh, I wouldn't really get too wrapped up on that. As far as how uh, sort of erasability goes, it seems fine. It hasn't been uh, too problematic, but it doesn't erase as well as some of the other pencils I have. I haven't messed with the eraser on this one. These really old erasers tend to just sort of crumble and get your paper like pink or red or whatever color it is. But uh, so far, so good. So fun pencil and the fun look back into a uh, history of writing instruments and back when specialized pencils very much were a thing.